So in this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to raise triops. These specifically are triops longicaudatus, but this works for many other species such as cancriformis as well. Right here is the main adult tank, I'm using a 10 gallon. So to begin, first you need triop eggs and you need a smaller container. In the adult tank, you'll want a bright 60 watt LED bulb, some leaf litter, some duckweed, a heater, a temperature monitor, and a bubbler and or a sponge filter, and you will eventually need a small container of sand for the triops to lay their eggs in. As for foods, as babies, triops will eat spirulina algae, and for adults, you can feed them various fish food for bottom feeders, and things like cucumbers, worms, and zucchini. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is put the triop eggs in the small container and add distilled water or rainwater. And here I'm showing the adult tank. You'll want to add a bubbler and or sponge filter. Keep the temperature between 73 and 75. Here's the hatchery. So you're going to want to float it inside of the adult tank to keep the temperature regulated. And the triop eggs will actually float. And it's very important that the lighting is directly over the tank because there are two things that make traps hatch. One is water, the right temperature water, and one is light. So I added a bottle cap so that you can collect the eggs inside of it so they won't get stuck in the side of the container because if they get stuck then they won't hatch. You should see traps hatching between 12 and 24 hours of when you put them in. So here's 12 hours old. As you can see in the back corner over here, we actually have our first triop. So this is a very small creature and it really only swims up and down as you can see here. One other important thing to mention is that you do not feed them the first day. You will feed them algae on day two because if you feed them now, then they will overeat and essentially kill themselves because they eat too much. So right now, just let them swim and enjoy them and see how they look. At 24 hours old, you can see that there are many hatched triops, and there are also many forms. So you can see the first form where they mainly swim up and down, and then after they molt, they will actually begin to swim sideways. So you can see a couple towards the bottom that have actually already molted their first molt, and they have begun to swim sideways. At this stage, if you have many different sizes of triops, they might start to eat each other, but that's fine and that's natural. So just be sure to give them enough space. At day two, in no time before that, you can give them a tiny bit of spirulina algae. What you'll want to do is take a small toothpick, dip the end of it, and then just swirl it in the water so that it can get all in the hatchery so that the baby triops can begin to feed on the algae. This algae will also grow because you're giving it light and water to live in. Here's a recording of the triops on day two. You can see that there are many still in the first form, but there are also some that have molted and become to swim sideways and they're actually starting to swim like real triops now which is exciting so for now you don't need to feed them any more than you just did just watch them and enjoy them here's the largest triop so far so this is day three they've gotten a lot bigger now this is partially because of them eating the algae, and partially because of them eating their siblings. So you'll notice there's a lot less triops now, which is just natural selection, and that's fine. But now we're going to have to feed them a little bit more. If you count less triops than you counted yesterday, don't be sad, because this is just an opportunity for the other triops to grow even bigger because they're getting more nutrition. Here's a zoomed in picture of the triop. We can see that it's actually starting to look like the adult form now. Obviously it has a couple moles left. So as before, we will feed a small bit of algae, but when you notice the larger triops, you're gonna wanna add in some crushed bit of food. This food is just the bottom feeder pellets that I've been giving them, and I'll also feed these to the adults too. 
So here on day 4 you can see the traps have even gotten bigger. The traps grow quite quickly and now we're going to have to give them a little bit more space. So I've taken off some of the tape on the outside of the hatchery to allow the water to transfer between the drill holes. So shrimp are very sensitive to any temperature and or changes in the water. For that reason we have to acclimate them slowly. So here's a picture of one next to my finger. Obviously they're not quite to adult size but they have gone a lot bigger. So after day 5 you're going to want to release them into the tank if they are big enough. This is day 8 and you can see that traps have gotten a lot bigger. And now only 5 remain because some have gotten eaten and some have died which is just natural. For the past couple days they've been feeding on mostly leaf litter and the pellets that I've been giving them. I've actually hatched two species of traps here. One is Triops longicodotus and one is Triops cancriformis. And here is one of the longicodotus next to my finger to show the size. At day 8 they are nearly the size of my pinky finger and a little bit smaller than my index finger. Throughout the day they'll just be scavenging for leaf and other food that they can find. So be sure in the main tank you have plenty of leaves for them to eat. You may notice that the tank is kind of dirty, but that's fine because in the wild these traps actually basically live in mud puddles. So this is kind of paradise for them since they have all of the food and water and temperature that they need to survive. They're actually quite happy in this water condition. However, if your tank starts getting too dirty, it might be a good idea to put in a sponge filter, as I did. Because when the water is too dirty, that means the oxygen can't get into their gills and they won't be able to breathe properly. At this stage, there's no need to give them algae anymore, because they'll mainly just be eating the leaves and the pellets that you give them. So here's day 9, right after I've put in the pellets, the triops can definitely smell that there's something in there. On the left is the triops cancriformis, and you can see that it is quite a bit smaller than the triops longicodotus. I've found that the longicodotus grow quite a bit faster than the cancriformis. Here you can see a triop that has grabbed a pellet and is playing with it and trying to get smaller pieces off so that it can eat it. They're actually very entertaining to watch, and whenever I find myself bored, I just walk over to the tank and watch them. On day 10, their size still increases, as you can see here, and you can see by the size of my finger, it is nearly the size of my index finger. For this species, they are actually quite pinkish yellow underneath, which is actually pretty cool in my opinion. For the most part, now, there's not really much you need to do to care for them except for to occasionally feed them pellets. Usually I do one in the morning and one at night, but if you're not seeing them eat them, then you can reduce this. At the moment, I keep both species of traps in the tank. You can see the size difference here. Later, I will likely separate these so that they can lay eggs individually and I can collect them based on the species. And already on day 10, you can start to see the egg sacs that are being formed. They're a darker spot and a small sac under the shield. For that reason, at this time, you're going to want to put in a small sand container so the triops can dig in the sand and then lay their eggs. At day 12, triops are nearly the adult size. At day 15 plus, triops have become mature and they begin to lay the eggs. Here you can see them on the bottom left of the screen. They're very small and pink and salmon in color and they're completely round. You are going to want to continue to feed them pellets, but you're also going to want to increase their diet to the point where they can eat different foods such as zucchini, cucumbers, and even worms. After the eggs are laid, you can leave them in the water for a while so the eggs are sure to be developed 
and then remove them and dry them out. Starting the next cycle is just as easy as adding water and restarting the video. Here's my collection of tribe eggs. These are from Triops Kinkerformis and they came from only two adult Triops. So thank you for watching the video and I hope that helps you if you decide to grow some Triops of your own. Be sure to like the video and subscribe if you'd like to see more.